My house been freezing. So you're gonna see me probably with a hoodie on for the next couple of videos, at least until I get my AC fixed. But if you hear, I have some pretty, pretty cool stuff to share with you. You see, in the art space, we've never been able to learn the key business tactics to help us succeed as artists. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing probably the most important journey of an artist that every artist should understand. It's the same thing every business person, business owner, entrepreneur go through. With that being said, if you don't know who I am, my name is Jeroy Henry. I'm the founder of Artist Rise. And in the past three years, we helped a few hundred artists hit some amazing sales online. And my goal here is to just provide as much value as I possibly can. So with that being said, we're gonna just jump straight into the video. So here's the thing. In the art space, we never been told the most important things about business. And here's the funny part. When you create an artwork, when that arc is completed, that arc becomes a product. As a product, you need to sell it. And when it comes down to you selling it, at that point, you're doing business. So selling artwork is no different than selling shirts, hats, Girl Scout cookies, home insurance, or solar power. Honestly, I can't stand those solar power people come knock on my door every single day. But more importantly, the principles remain the same. So what I wanna show you in this video is the journey every artist needs to go through. And this is for artists who are currently making less than 2,000 per month. If you're making less than 2,000 per month, I would highly advise you grab pen and paper because we have a lot to talk about. So here's the thing, in business, for any very new business person or entrepreneur, it kinda of goes something like this. They start their business, they have an idea. Once you have an idea, your job is to sell the product that you have as quickly as possible. So ideally, you when you have a product, let's say I'm selling shirts, my goal is just simply to sell shirts, nothing else, sell shirts, sell as many shirts as I possibly can. Or if you're in a business space and you're trying to grow a bigger company, typically they're gonna tell the new entrepreneur or business person, usually the younger person, hey, go intern for someone who's extremely successful, learn as much as you can, and then you can start your own business and become successful. So you may be thinking, Gerard, what the heck do this have to do with artwork? Just stick with me. So here's the thing. Let's say if I was selling shirts, the goal is just for me to sell as many shirts as possible. On the flip side, we're selling artwork. So the goal is to sell as much artwork as possible. Now, this is the journey you have to understand if you really want to become a successful artist. You have to go through the nothing to phenomenal journey. Nothing to phenomenal. Right now, you're at the nothing and you're trying to go to phenomenal and let me explain what this look like but before i jump into the details i want to share a couple things right now in the art space all artists have this price that they set their artwork at and the price typically is a made up number mainly because they just feel like this is what my artwork is worth i'll give an example i had a conversation with an artist not too long ago and i said hey how much are you charging for your artwork and she said on the high end five thousand per month and I say, why 5000 per month? And then she says, well, I just feel like that's what it worked. That's what I would love to be charging. And in the art space, this is what a lot of artists believe. But in the business space, it's completely irrelevant what do you feel like your pricing should be. Your pricing should be based on market value. And then that value is only based on also your experience. Let me explain. You see, if a new person in business, they're trying to sell a product, Typically, they just want to sell as much as possible. They don't care what the price is. They just want to get customers. They want to get customers under their belt to show that they have a proven concept. So what am I saying? Here's the thing. If you currently create an artwork and you make less than one to 2,000 per month, and if it's not consistent, your goal should not be about trying to sell artwork at the prices you desire. You should just be trying to sell artwork. Like any sale you could get, you should be thankful, you should be closing the sale. Actually, a pretty good tip that I would give you right now is if anybody is interested in your artwork, ask them how much are they willing to spend before you tell them the price. And whatever number they're willing to spend, sell the artwork at that number. You see, because the goal is to simply make sales. If you make sales, you're gonna start having clients, which they could come back and purchase again and again and again. And on top of that, they could also refer their friends. You see, I have a close friend who started the very successful lawnmower business. So what happened was he'll go knock on people's doors and then he'll say, hey, I just started the business, I mow the lawn, I'm willing to mow your lawn, and at the end, if you wanna pay me, whatever you choose to pay me, 
I'd be highly appreciative of it. And if that number even is zero, I still want to thank you for the opportunity. Is it okay if I mow your lawn? Now, what happened was when he started mowing lawns, some people pay him five bucks, some people pay him 10, some people pay him 25, some people pay 50. No one paid zero. But what happened was, more importantly, he started to build clientele. And then a second time after they loved his work, he go back and he say, okay, the first time you pay me five, if you love the work I've done, I wouldn't have continued to mow your lawn every other week for you and I would just charge 30 bucks. Now what happens is all those people that paid less in the beginning, they're now long-term clients and now they're buying his service, which is 30 bucks every two weeks, which is $60 a month. And then a year later, he had extremely successful mowing business. You see, this artwork behind me, this is a 36 by 48 canvas. You may desire 5,000 for that artwork, but if you just started out and someone offers you a thousand bucks, take the thousand bucks because a client is more important to have, especially in the beginning stages, than to have no clients whatsoever. And what's gonna happen is that once you start having those clients actually buying your work and buying your work and buying your work, no matter what the price may be, you're gonna look like a successful artist because you're gonna be showing that you're selling a lot of work. And when people purchase art or anything, they like to buy it from those who are already successful. So they're like, okay, I see this person posting all these sales he's making online. Maybe his work is really desirable. I need to buy his art. So I'm gonna give you some tangible actions to apply right now. One, if you have more than 10 artworks, when you go to sell it, don't have no actual price. Be willing and open to accept any price someone is willing to spend on your artwork as long as it's reasonable. Obviously, you should not sell a 36 by 48 canvas for 75 bucks, and you probably don't want to sell a 48 by 60 canvas for anything under 400 bucks. But if it's reasonable, if it makes sense, sell the artwork. Just start making sales because when you look back on those sales three years from now, you're not going to say, I really regret sale number four that I sold for 300 bucks and I could have sold for 900. No, you're going to be thinking, I made so many sales, I made so much income, and that's a blessing. And that's what you want to do. You see, one of my favorite artists is CJ Hendry. This is not an artist I work with, by the way, it's just an artist I'm a fan of. Now, CJ Hendry, when she first started creating her artwork, all her pieces was under 10,000. Some of them was under a thousand bucks. I'm talking like 10 plus years ago. And she was on Instagram just selling those artworks to whoever wanted to purchase. She was selling artworks for a thousand, eight hundred, seven hundred. And now, today's time, her artwork calls six figures for an original. You see, she was able to go from $700 artworks to six figures because she started off making sales. And then as she started making sales, people like to buy from those who are already successful, like I mentioned earlier in this video. As more people begin to purchase her work, demand begins to raise. And when demand begins to raise, then she can also raise her pricing with demand. And as she began to raise her pricing, her art became also more desirable. And before you know it, you go from selling artworks from 300 to 700 to 1,000 to 2,000, 4, 6, $20,000 artworks. But the problem for visual artists in today's time is that we set in the price at 5,000 from the very beginning. When you set the price at $1,000 from the very beginning, the buyers who are genuinely interested in your artwork have to also justify the purchase. So they're gonna ask themselves, this artist who never sold art before, who's not really successful at this point, why would I be the first one to spend $5,000 on this artist's work? And typically, if they have to think about that, they're most likely not going to purchase. However, if that same buyer came to you and say, hey, I love your artwork, how much are you charging? And used to say, hey, I'm just starting my art career. I'm really trying to get things off the ground. And I really dream to be a really successful artist someday. And if you could purchase, that would be a huge help. So honestly, I'm open to any price that you believe is comfortable and respectable. And then that person is going to think, hey, you know what? I pay 3000 2,000, they may even say 5,000, but one thing for certain, you're gonna secure the sale. And if you communicate like this in one month, you may make three, five, six, seven sales because it's no longer about the price. You're now selling artworks to those who genuinely love the work. And then once you start making consistent sales, then you can start setting prices based off what everyone else is buying your artwork for at an average. With that being said, some people are gonna watch this video and they're gonna think, I don't want to discount my artwork, but the beautiful thing about the art space and just any business space is that it don't operate on wants. If you really want to succeed, you have to just do what needs to be done. 
the person who's just starting out with a company, they're just looking to get any customers. They want to charge any price and they wouldn't approve themselves first. And then once they have a reputation behind themselves, then they start to raise their pricing. And it's no different from the art space. Stop charging 5,000 bucks for artworks that you never sold. Just because that random person say, what, you was charging 3,000? You need to charge more. And a person that's saying you need to charge more is currently not someone who's buying your artwork. Stop taking advice from people that's not in the art space and people that are not currently buying your artwork. I hope you found this valuable. And if you apply to see your artwork to take your career to the next level and you want more tips to take your career to the next level, I'm gonna post a video here of a few things to avoid if you really wanna be successful. With that being said, I'm gonna see you on that video. Peace.